Bitcoin and Ethereum. Forget about them. Did you see what's going on with the alts? Oh my goodness, man. Alts are pumping all over the place, man. It's incredible. You know what? I remember a time back in, I don't know, eons ago. It was, uh, I think it was eons ago. I said, oh yeah, that was right. It was in September when uh, the, I said winter is here for the alts. And then shortly in the middle of winter of alts, I said, okay, well, the winter is going to be ending soon. I said, okay, people are saying, when? When's, when's the new alt season? February. And I remember many, many people saying, I February, that's two months away. I can't wait that long. <laughs> I'd be like, you can't wait uh, two months to see 10x to 20x, uh, uh, 30x of your uh, altcoins priced in Bitcoin and Ethereum. You got some, you, you got some serious problems, man. <laughs> you got some... <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yes, those were just, that's that was the, that was so funny. That was so funny, and I, I love, I love uh, Twitter and uh, uh, and Telegram and stuff like that. I love you guys that respond. It's lots of fun. And speaking about uh, Telegram, right, and Twitter, right? You can join me on Twitter uh, at, at uh, DaVinciJ15, right, on Twitter, and also in Telegram if you uh, subscribe to Pandora's Wallet or. Uh, DaVinciJ15.com. You can subscribe there and also get Pandora's Wallet. And also, if you have the $5 worth of uh, DJ15 tokens. Now, I know it's expensive on Uniswap. So my I talked to my developers and they said they can get us uh, get me a website so that you can buy um, the DJ15, a small amount of the DJ15 token um, and, and not have to pay these absorbent Uniswap prices. Um, uh, and that's going to be available at the end of this month. So I look forward to that. Alrighty. So yeah, uh, let's get on to, before we get on to, um, showing you some alts and, you know, looking for some alts, I'm going to ask both the Twitch people who are watching and, and the YouTube guys that are watching right now to give me some alts, right? Um, throw the alts in the, in the chat room. I'm going to go switch over to the chat room once I finish going over my alts that I've, uh, I'm going to be talking about. And then I want to see some of your alts and I'm going to be uh, selecting a few of those and randomly and, and see what we see, right? Maybe I can find something that I can buy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that because there's a lot of stuff, right? That's, that, that, that's often popping and you know what? I can't go and jump in on them. I have to like, you go, okay, wait a second, man. I got to find something that's good. That's, that's a little bit lower so I can get some, uh, let's get my 10 X, uh, in Bitcoin or uh, 20x or 30x or even 100x in Bitcoin. So I, I, I want to get low so I can get high. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Let's, uh, before we continue into today's show, I want to say that this is for entertainment purposes only, right? I'm having a lot of fun here, as you can tell. And I hope you're having a lot of fun here too. And this is not financial advice. So please do your own research before entering the market because. No, sometimes I do make mistakes. And so you must verify what I'm saying. And then, hey, you know what? If I made a mistake, please let me know. I want to know in the comment section below, and I will correct it. All righty. Uh, let's get on with it, right? All right. Um, eh, MM Crypto. Chris from MM Crypto. We, have, we always have a good time together, man, partying and stuff like that. Um, hey, we just uh, did a little bit of a, um, I did a, a show with him. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just up uploaded it yesterday and you know what? A lot of you guys, uh, appreciate the, me and Emma Crypto and Carl from the Moon. So if you want to, uh, me to go to Mexico where they're at right now, hang out with them, do some videos with them. I want to see, I want to see that you really want that. I want to see that. So head over to this video, right? And I want to see at least, at least right now we're at 10% uh, likes. I want to see 25% likes, 25% likes, and I'll go there and I'll do a video every single day with Chris and every single day with Carl, right? And I will push them for a video every single day. Alrighty. So let's get on to, um, yeah, look at that. Um, uh, uh, Bitcoin is, is off and popping. It's over 40K. But well, before we get to that, let's let's talk about, oh, DJ15 token. It's over, it's uh, 0 0.1 in uh Ethereum and still maintaining it. I'm looking forward to that, to that continuing higher. Can't wait because you know what? With alt season, everything gets floated up. Um, DJ 15 token, especially, especially, and you know what? Also, I am buying this token and burning it. 
Looking forward to my absolute token burn uh, very soon, right? Once we get to an all-time high in price in Ethereum, I'm going to set a date for the burn of all the tokens, and it's going to be a big surprise, man. I have a big surprise for everybody to look out for that. All right. Um, before we get on to the, some of the positive notes, look, look at this, 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 this token. I mentioned this on Chris's show yesterday, the other day. Uh, this is something that Chris has, and I said, listen, you know what? Um, it's already popped, right? It's kind of a little late to join the party, right? Um, is is it going to go higher? Yes, it is. But you want to find something that's better. And it did go higher. And, uh, and yeah, you could have been pissed off going, oh, my God, you made me lose a whole bunch of gains. I'm like, I could have bought this. And, yeah, but you know what? There's lots of other coins out there that you could buy that are going to do a lot better, right? So what you need to do is take it easy. Wait for the 61.8 on any of these coins and, and start nibbling there. Don't get greedy because that's how you're going to get destroyed in this market. Greed kills here. And look at that. What right, happened here? Uh, this is another one that I mentioned on, on, on Chris's show. And I said, hey, listen, you don't want to buy this up here. Where do you want to buy it? 61.8. It almost hit the 61.8. Is it going to come back to 61.8? Most likely. I think it might come all the way to 78.6 because as you can see there's a little bit of a W, but not quite. Um, I don't think that W is really count, so it has, probably has to create one before it continues higher. So um, uh, I would uh, look for, start nibbling at the 61.8 and then add more to the 78.6 if you really wanted to uh, to get some. And then sell half on a double, right? Use the little lady strategy. It's proven. It works. It's solid. It gives you a point to uh, exit your uh, your trade, right? You don't know where the top is. I don't know where the top is. So you should sell half on a double and take profits, take it in profits of an asset that is constantly increasing, and that is Ethereum and Bitcoin. Why take it in profits in, in, in a dollar, in currency that's constantly decreasing? That is like, hello, McFly, what's wrong with you? Like, why would you pick your, your, your profits in that? That doesn't make any sense. Yes, okay, fine. If you had some pills to pay, then it makes sense in dollars. Then you do it. But that's that's the only reason. You don't save those dollars. What are you what are you smoking? You smoking weed? <laughs> that's that's why you're afraid to take it in dollars. Right? You gotta you gotta take that, you gotta put that 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 stuff down, right? Put it away, right? It's really bad for your health. And focus on making some money. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, my um, trades here, yeah, I just recently got sold a half on a double on Maker, right? And it's really simple. Now, all I have to do is sell 50% here, and that's it, right? That's all I do. I just keep selling half on a double, nothing else. I'm, I made my profits, and now I move on, and I continue selling half on a double all the way up. All the way up! All the way up! <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else. Okay. I'm going I'm just going to, you know, tweet this out just for sun for sun for fun. Uh, let's see if uh, uh, where is my tweet button? Oh, it's not here. I got I guess I guess I could expand this a little bit. There it is. There it is. All right. So let's tweet that out. I'm sold my maker and look for profits in the coming months now that i am break even in btc there we go so i broke it even in btc but btc is up from when i last bought it from my first bought it way up <laughs> right? So that's why it's it's better base currency, right? Way better base currency than I I don't know something uh, called the USD or, or Euro or something like that. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, hope, hope, if you're in if you're in uh, Spain, right? It's the pesos or uh, or lira or actually Spain is actually you're on in the euros now. I forgot about that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm old school, right? 
All right, or, or you know, pesos here in Chile or uh, Mexico, and uh, obviously in rubles in in Russia or uh, uh, let's see here, where else? Uh, Germany. Yeah, oh, that's right. They're they're no longer on the mark. They're on the euro still. Yeah, I, I don't think any of you guys remember those those currencies back then. Anyways, I guess I'm that that old. Oh man, I dated myself. Okay. With that said, um, um, I'm going to go to the, uh, the, the uh, stream here and see if you guys have any tokens for me to take a look at. Oh, wait a second. D I heard uh, a pop, right? Uh, did I, I just bought something. Okay. I bought a little bit of uh, OST. All right. All right. That's not, uh, that's not exciting. We want to see some, some, um, some uh, sell orders see my profits already uh, let's go and see what you guys are saying here another pop I wonder if I if I bought something this time already uh, see a coin already see a coin is one that you guys mentioned here Wow nobody's talking about anything else it's SC for see a coin okay fine let's do that Oh, there we go! Another profit, another profit, and on the Vib coin. But let's let's first take a look at Sia coin. Uh, there we go. Sia, Sia coin. Okay, click it. Let's see it. Wow, Sia coin is off to the races, right? But do you want to buy up here? Do you want to buy? Do you want to buy high? No, you don't. Especially since you know, put a fork in the road, right? Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we do come back here down to the sixty-one point eight, because you can see this is where the jump-off point was. Hey, you know what? If you're if you're like trading this, you saw the W. You you bought this the breakout and away you want went. So sometimes, most of the times, markets tend to come back to the the breakout and then off they go so that's where you want to be a buyer and let me just close all this so uh, that price is approximately the 17 maybe maybe a little bit higher the 18 sat area so that you can nibble this thing um uh, all, all the way down even to the 78.6 just in case you don't put it all in um uh, all, all at once make sure you put in like five one percent two percent at the most on this coin because you know what you want to have dry powder to go elsewhere yeah i know it sounds a lot small right it could be like you know five ten bucks for most people but that's i mean when you're talking about currencies that are going to be doing like 10x 100x that's that's all going to add up to large sums of money and because you're spreading yourself out with the little lady strategy it means that you know what coins that go to zero like let's just say this thing goes to zero it doesn't matter. It's like one or two percent of your whole portfolio, um, and you've got a hundred different coins, or maybe even more. And so, yeah, uh, you don't want to you don't want to concern yourself with coins that go to zero. People freak out when they start off to the little old lady strategy, and they think, "Oh my God, I put one uh, percent into this coin and went to zero. Oh my God, I'm, I'm broke." No, don't don't just forget it. Just move on to the next coin. And continue on because you have a large portfolio. I have like, I've counted right recently, um, approximately fifteen coins have gone to zero in my portfolio. Maybe even, probably even more because like I was just doing a rough estimate. Does it bother me? No, it shouldn't bother you. All right, um, let's head over to um, Bitcoin and Ethereum and now technical analysis. All right, uh, since we have gone to the coin. Oh, before we do that, actually, let's just quickly look at my coin that uh just popped right so it's, it is excitement it is exciting to see you know profit oh wow oh wow that was one of those coins where i was like ah, uh, yeah this thing's not going anywhere i'll just dump it i'll just uh put it out really really high and see what happens and yeah it got paid <laughs> oh wow let's see let's see let's see what what i got paid Snap. Half of Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, snap. That, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Look at that. And if I had more, could I, could I uh, double this again? 
Oh, almost. There we go. Almost. So, yeah, that's what you do right here. Right now, because uh, I know, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Binance is not going to let me do that, which is which is a pain. I'm going to put a stop loss right instead um, uh, so that uh, so that I can like actually actually still sell half on a double should this happen again. I'm just going to set the stop loss so if it gets close to it, it actually um, fires off at that price. So it says, okay, I'm going to sell it here. So when it passes a little bit higher, a little bit lower, a little just below my sell order, it goes and sets the, sell, the buy or the sell order up here so that I can get my get paid. That's why I like um, like uh, Coinigy. Okay. Um, let's head over to our Bitcoin and Ethereum and the technical analysis because I'm sure most of you have been waiting for that. Okay. Well, you can see, look at that. Is that an extension level? Oh, wow. Right up here at the, uh, at 50,000. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like that. 50,000 extension level. I wonder, is there additional extensions um, here? Um, probably just a 2.1, 2.0. But you know what? I'll, I'll let it go. All right. So let's go down to the uh, lower time frames. Let's see what we can see. Right. Uh, yeah. Bitcoin. Right. We talked about this um, uh, earlier. Right. Um, in the in my uh, Telegram group, I was pointing this out early in the morning, saying, "Hey, you know what? There's a there's a W here, right? And for those of you who don't know how to train trade the W breakout, right? Which is right here. You can see." There's a W showing right. Oh, actually, what was it? Uh, was it further lower? Yeah, it was further lower. Sorry, it was further lower. That's right. Here it was. Here it is. I mean, but this this was another W right there. There's a little bit of a W there on the 15 minutes, and then off we went. But um, I was talking about this one. You can see the W breakout right here, right? Gave you a little bit of a pain, right? But let me just draw it out for you guys. W, the W, 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 right here, right, right. We were breaking out. Oh, no, no, almost. We almost broke out. And then, you know, if we finally broke out and this is how you trade this, basically, right? You would take your, um, your, your, uh, your, uh, your, your tool for trading longs, right? This would normally be your um, your stop loss, proper stop loss. Unfortunately, you don't want, but the proper target, unfortunately, is one to one. And since you don't want to to um, to go on a one to one basis because there these things do fail, these W's do fail, and you want to be able to make a profit over over time. It's easier to to make profit over time if you have more than a one to one risk to reward ratio. So what we do is we move this to a two to one risk to reward ratio, and you can see you uh, were not stopped out. You did suffer a little bit, but then off we went, and you made your two to one and at exact at the exact target. Uh, somebody asked me in the group um, how to do this, and I'm now explaining this once again. And I will do this over and over again uh, because it's a very simple approach to uh, trading. You could actually add more, um, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, uh, indicators to help you decide whether or not you should take the W, right? This W breakout here. But um, because that, that will help you uh, reduce the amount of times that you actually do trade, but it will keep you out of trades that, uh, that might go bad. So that's, that's another way of doing it. But to start off, right, you have to start somewhere. Most people, right, they try to add too many things into their trade, right, too many indicators, right, because because they think that they need to be able to um, to make sure that they're always going to win, and that's not that's that's not how you trade. You're gonna you can't expect to win most of the time. You can't expect to win all the time. You can't expect to win 100% of the time. You have to accept losses, okay, and then be patient as well. 
Alrighty, so uh, with that said, that's that was the next trade, and so where 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 is Bitcoin going to here from here? Well, you can see it's already completed another trade, which is another W at this point, and so what you have to do is now wait for the the price action to tell you what to do. Is there something we can like um, make out here? Because I'm sure um, Bitcoin has broken out from the 78.6, and that's I knew it was going to come up here, retest it, and come back, and then go. Um, is there anything we can look at? Um, probably not, but we're going to try and see if there's anything that I can pick up quickly in the next little bit. So let me just zoom out first. Alrighty, uh, maybe there's a trend line here. Okay. Nothing really. Okay. I'm not going to, oh, wait a second, wait a second, hold on, hold on. No, that's not it, that's not it, that's not going to work. Well, maybe that will. No, it's already broken. Yeah, that's already broken, so you could say that that's broken out, right, target uh, is well beyond the, um, that range so basically you have to go down to the lower time frames in order to find anything to trade okay moving on to ethereum ethereum right um let's see here oof that's not good that is not good on the daily you can see a lot of divergences divergences on top of divergences is not not very good Yes, we're in a bull market, so you can't you can't really assume that this divergence is a is going to turn into something uh, negative. But it makes you it's you got as a bull, you have to take pause. You have to go. I'm gonna pause for a minute because there's a, there's these divergences here. They don't look so good. They're some some of them are confirmed. Right. Um, yes. Even though the confirmed one has been broken, right? This is confirmed. This one right here is confirmed, but broken out. This one is not confirmed, right? So you might want to pause and hold your horses um, and think about, you know, taking profits and so forth. Looking at this, right, you can see we had a little bit of a W, right? Again, it took it. it we didn't uh, actually break to the, I could tell we didn't break to the profit objective, we still have the um we're still in a, in a in a positive area and we didn't get stopped out just by eyeballing it and um yeah so let's take a look at where the where the quickly where the profit objective is on this this particular breakout trade here a w trade so again from the breakout point to a one point to a, a one to one ratio of the the lower point of, of the W, we take it 50% there, and then so that we can go to a two to one, and there we go, there we have it. That's your stop loss. So um, we're gonna go probably hit the, with, with us being in the weekend, right? I don't think you have to worry about uh, a major move down Right, because most of the uh, retail investors come in on the weekend and they tend to pump prices up uh, more often than not. So I would say that we're probably going to take hit this uh, 18, uh, 16 uh, level, this 18, what was it, 18, 11 level, and maybe even get close to the $2,000 level. Once we do, I would suggest you start looking, at considering um, looking at taking profits. At least I know I will. Alrighty, ah, okay, so. Just remember, finally, if you want me to, uh, to to head over to Mexico, make sure you watch this video, right? And you hit the share button. I'm going to hit the share button and tweet this out, right? And you share this video with everybody that you know. So we get more likes, we get more views, we get more likes, and yeah. And if we get 25% uh, likes on this video that I uploaded yesterday, I'm going to I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Okay, well, 
Uh, I wanted to keep this short, and I don't know how long it took, but anyways, I'm going to have to uh, cut it off here. Thank you all for watching. Remember, Bitcoin's real, Bitcoin's the money, and Bitcoin's here to stay, and you need to be a part of it. Cheers, people.